Happy New Year everyone! Welcome back to Rachel Resets. Today I have a couple of low carb options for you for appetizers in case those appetizers from New Year's Eve are just tempting you in the fridge. All of these appetizers are low carb. They are possibly dirty keto as well, but I hate to use the word keto because sometimes people come at you for it. <laughs> To get started, you'll need some sliced pepperoni, some little weenies, some meatballs, some shredded mozzarella, some raised barbecue sauce, the no sugar added kind is the better kind for a low carb option, or you could use whatever low carb barbecue sauce you like. Also you can use whatever low carb sauce you like. I use this Prego because that's what I have on hand. It's not too bad carb wise, but if you want Rayos or something else that's lower carb, you can do that as well. I lined up my meatballs on my sheet pan that I had lined with parchment paper and I just spooned over a small amount of the marinara sauce on top. Then I topped it with some of the mozzarella cheese and I also topped it with a little bit of oregano and a little bit of parsley just for color. I forgot to add that you want to preheat your oven to 425 degrees. The only comfort I've found is blending in. So have you all made any kind of New Year's resolutions in regards to your personal health or goals that you have for your personal health? I tend to keep going for the low carb type of option because I've seen the most success with that, but if you have another idea of ways that you like to be healthier in the new year or things that you try to, goals that you try to set or things that you promise to yourself that you will do in the new year, just let me know below. I'd love to hear about them and drop a comment. Now these meatballs are ready for the oven and we're going to get started on our next item which is going to be these mozzarella pizza roll-ups. You basically take shredded mozzarella cheese, you shred a little bit, lay out a little bit into little groupings. You could even use a slice of mozzarella cheese but this is what I have on hand. And then you take little pieces of pepperoni and you stick a few of them on each of them. When you bake them, the edges will get a little bit browned and it'll still be flexible when it's warm coming out of the oven. You're going to want to roll them up individually when you take them out and I'll show you how to do that in a few minutes here but in, these were really good. Then you use the dipping sauce, that marinara sauce I showed you, and you dip each of them in that, and it's really delicious. Now this whole pan is ready for the oven and I'm going to put a little bit of this sauce into a little bowl just for dipping those little pizza roll ups that I made. I also found several other recipes that we could make if you were trying to do something that was low carb or even keto friendly for your New Year's options for your appetizers. So I will put those links down below because a lot of them look similar to this and look really good. Now I'm starting on the little weenies. We're going to use our weenies in a pan. We're going to heat them over medium and we're going to add some of that barbecue sauce, about two tablespoons worth of it. And we're just going to simmer these together until everything's heated through. Now these are looking good. It's been about five minutes, so I'm going to check on these meatballs and you can see that the cheese is just starting to brown. 
Once the cheese had been in there for about eight to 10 minutes, I took it out and started to roll it up. The meatballs were actually not all the way heated through. So I popped those back in after I rolled these up and put them in a separate little bowl. And I also transferred the weenies over into a little bowl and stuck some cute little toothpicks in them. And by cute, I just mean plain because <laughs> I don't have cute ones. But they're cute to me. I don't use a lot of toothpicks in life, so uh, they're beautiful. Oh, you know what is cute? My nails! Aren't they beautiful? My mother-in-law gave me these and they're just the little stickers. They were really handy. I think they were from Lillian Fox. And the audio is kind of terrible on this one, so I just had to try one of these little weenies. I'm going to record over the audio but they were delicious. I tried to show it to the camera. This actually, the little barbecue weenies were actually my husband's favorite out of all the different things that I made. And I thought they were quite delicious too. They might've been my favorite as well. I also went ahead and tried one of these cheese roll-ups, which that was so good. I think I will make this several other times because it seemed like it would be a really filling snack and definitely it was a lot easier than I thought to make and really delicious. The one trick I would say is make sure you do it when it's still warm because if you wait till it's cold, it won't be flexible enough or sticky enough to roll up anymore. These look really good. They turned out, ooh, look at that, look at that. Yum. Ta-da! This is what we whipped up real fast. And now I will show you the whole spread. This is the rest of the spread. Look how delightful. This is from Sam's Club. It's got all the different kinds. You got Irish cheddar. What's that one say? French elemental? Mm -mm. Uh, Belgian Fontana and Dutch Gouda. And then I put sliced ham baby between. And I just all of this was delicious. I hope you get to have some low carb options for yourself so that you can still celebrate the new year even while keeping to your own goals. And I will see you all in the next one.